Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Storm the Swan, and the power of friendship and imagination, which is a horror game from the creator of Daytime, where you play a completely normal Game Boy game that features a bunch of friendly animal friends, and no one gets hurt. The Lake. Hey, hey, don't cry. It's all right. You're all right. Everything will be okay. Thursday daytime. Oh boy. Okay, what's this? Day at the lake with mom and dad. They look great. Very happy. I can go forward. Into a wall? Or no, it would took me into a, an attic or something. I can go left. There's a window. I think someone's outside. I don't know who they are. I'm probably going to have to go out there and give them some good old hospitality for, you know, trespassing. Flush that toilet. Door right there. Oh, there's a Game Boy thing. Not yet. I think we have to play the gamepad. The data kit, as I call it. Welcome to Data Kit Entertainment System. Cartridge detected. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we got an error. Got like uh, <laughs> got clean the, the machine. Warning: Previous save file deleted. Reloading intro. Hmm. Welcome to Storm the Swan and the Power of Friendship and Imagination. A great game that teaches kids friendship and imagination. I'm Storm, star of the story. Before we start our adventure, please put in your name. Manly. Alrighty, Manly. I'll see you soon. That's what they all say. They leave my life. Someone here? You finally come to Hedgehog Hills. A village full of cute animals. And Keanu Reeves. You are excited to move here, since you hear it's great for friends and adventure. Two. In fact, a cute girl comes to welcome you. Connie the Capybara. You must be manly. It's so good to meet you. I'm Connie the Capybara, the designated greeter to this pretty village. Welcome to your new home. I hope you enjoy your stay. I would love to introduce you to someone very special to me. But first, I'm sure you're excited to see your new home. Not really. Let's go! You arrived to your little house, already fully furnished for you. Here's to your humble beginnings. I know it's not much yet, but some of our villagers may be able to help you out in the furniture if you talk to them. I don't care. Feel free to look around. I'll come back to talk to you later. This house must become empty like my soul. Customize your home? Change out the bed? Dark. You have no over chairs. Well, that just... That just sounds like symbolism for life. You open your travel brochure about the village. The brochure reads, Welcome to Hedgehog Hills, a small village full of happy friends. 
enjoy our cafe for a bite to eat, our rec center so you can keep fit, and our auto repair shop for all your fixing needs. Just remember to be careful out there, especially in the happy woods. I think this is actually getting to the date time. I think that game's not out yet. I've played the uh, the two the two or three previews of it. But the way they said like the rec center, the auto shop, and stuff like that made me think of the the potential dating partners of daytime. The brochure reads, Many of our villagers are very friendly and neighborly, and also cute. Kawaii. In fact, it is a requirement to be cute in this village. Well, I'll fit right just in. If you're living here, then you too are very, very cute. See? You questioned me? I know you did. About Happy Woods. The Happy Woods is a large forest area behind the village. We recommend not traveling there, especially at night. But if we do happen to get lost there, remember, you are always moving and facing the direction you choose. Hit the back button to go to the previous area you were just in. Sounds like a maze. Are you, uh, Sonic? No, no, you're Hazel the Hedgehog. Your own legally distinct character that is retired and angry at the world because you no longer go fast. So, you're manly, huh? I would usually welcome you to the village, but you came at the wrong time. Something truly evil is haunting this town, manly. And I'm doing everything I can to keep people safe. But it's not enough. If you aren't careful, you'll... Pie? Connie, don't interrupt me when I'm talking to someone. Oh, hey, Hazel. I hope you're showing the new kid the ropes. Something, something I'm trying. This is Hazel. She's the village elder. And kind of a mom for all of us. Do you want to say anything, Hazel? Chili dogs. Ah, uh, never mind. I can see you're busy showing Manly the village. I'll speak of you later, Manly. Oh, she's gone. Haha, <laughs> that's our village elder for you. She's a bit cranky. I should better make a save. I like her. Yeah, she really makes this town perfect. I'm sure both of you will be quick friends. Anyways, I wanted to introduce someone to you that I think is really cool. They're in the happy woods behind the village. But before you go, why not explore the village and meet some folks while I get ready? Also, get a bite to eat at the cafe. It'll be a long trip for the Happy Woods. Where's the swan? Where would you like to go? Can we just skip to the Happy Woods? Ah, I'll just follow what she's saying. Um, we might as well see what's going on here. First, anyway. You walk into the cafe, the best restaurant in town and the only one because they have Monopoly. A waiter saunters out to ask you what you'd like to order. This is your chance to order your favorite food. Souls. Uh, I'll settle for a uh, scrumptious panini. The waiter nods and fetches the food for you. While you eat, you see an adorable marmot who is reading a book. Hi, you must be manly. Okay, you're the... the first girl you can date, I think, in uh, date time. I'm Melissa. Yeah, yeah. Melissa. The Marmot. It's so good to see you. I like reading, drawing, and studying. That's why I spend all my time at this cafe. What do you like to do? Um, art or sports? I, these are both things you don't like. I'll just say art. Well, you like the stuff I like. Maybe we can share each other's artwork later on. You're not gonna like it. To compare notes, of course. It's all anime. Tell me about Connie, Hazel the Village. Date me. Oh, that's adorable. But you're too young to be dating anyone, am I? But if you have an older sibling, let me know. If they're half as cool as you, they could be into Data Time Corporation's Daytime. Okay, this would actually just take you to the next game. Maybe next time. Connie. Connie's a sweetheart. Have you tried any of her pies? I like the cherry pie she makes. Hazel. The village elder. She's always out to keep us safe. Village. 
The village is small and peaceful. You'll love it here, till I arrived. Just don't get lost in the happy woods, especially at night. But if you do, please, I'm looking for a flower there for my research. If it's worth your while, find it for me today and I'll get you something special tomorrow. Hmm. Gotta go. Hmm. What is the rat hole? What's the password? Is it rat? Not a password I ever heard. Repair shop. This should be the, uh... I forgot the guy's name. A small place with a garage and tools for fixing things. You see a cute mole writing down something on a piece of paper. Huh? You just look like yourself. Like, more more overtly so, because you just have like a dot on your nose. Who are you? Oh, you're the new villager, Manly. I'm Morris, the mechanic in the village. I specialize in fixing automobiles. But because nobody here owns a car, I guess I fix people's random stuff. I guess you're useless then. What were you writing? Oh, it's nothing important. It's embarrassing, really. Okay, it's a poem I wrote. Would you like to hear it? Sure. Um, here goes nothing. This is a, a poem about my struggles with love. The early dove gets more love. You can't wait a ton to find the one. That's what I was always told. And every day without being bold, I feel that one day I'll be left in the cold. Won't someone come to be my dove? What do you think of my poem? I want to say it sucks, but it might leave me a bad ending, and I'm not ready for that yet. I liked it. Oh, thank you. I do my best. What do you think of the village? It's a nice place. Although one day I hope I can build myself a motorcycle. And maybe take a trip somewhere. With someone special in my heart. Not gonna be me. Cool. What do you think of the village? Do this again. Like who? You're a little too young to understand. <laughs> what do you think about Connie? Sometimes Connie shows up and gives me a pie. They're really good. I hope all of them are compatible with Mole's digestive system. It is a way you could assassinate other animals, couldn't you? Hmm. Date me. What? <laughs> Very flattering. But you're too young for me. Besides, only people with Data Time Corporation's Daytime can date me. And only adults should play that game. Okie dokie. Gotta go. See you around, Manly. So you didn't give me a quest. Um, like the other one. Unless, unless I have to tell you that your poem sucks or something. Uh, we'll do that later. Let me set up the premise first. Then, we'll make everything burn alright. You walk into the rec center. There you see a graceful alpaca who's practicing her tennis swing. She accidentally, accidentally swings a ball right at you. Watch out! Time powers. Sidestep. You quickly dodge the ball before it hits you. Tubular! That's like, great reflexes, super radical. Like, you must be manly. You know what I was just thinking of is, uh, Odd Taxi. I don't want to spoil something, but there was like a certain scene at the very ending with a certain alpaca. I think it was an alpaca. It was either an alpaca or a llama, but I'm pretty sure it was an alpaca. I'm like totally like so excited to see you. Welcome to our town. I'm Anna, and I'm trying to be like a sports champion. I'm busy practicing though, but like I have time for small talk as well. Date me. No. Whoa! What? No, okay. I see. With him with Connie. Like, I totally love Connie. She's the coolest capybara I've ever met. I think she's the only one you know. That being said, she's the only capybara I've ever met, see? 
What do you think about the village? Oh my gosh, this village is lovely. I'm only passing by. I'm moving to a bigger town soon. But it's still great to meet people. What do you think about Hazel? Like, I totally like Hazel too. She reminds me of my auntie. Who died? Huh, totally fun. Gotta go. See ya. See ya. I suppose we'd have to go to the Happy Woods now. There's nothing else left. Are you ready to leave to the Happy Woods? Yes. Alright, here we go. Hey. Knock it out. That's right. Are you ready for our adventure together? I can't wait until you meet this awesome person. Are they gonna be like a monster and they're gonna attack me? Now just for safety's sake, if we ever get separated, remember that you're always facing the direction you last went. Meaning if you hit the back arrow, you will always go back to the previous area we are just in. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get... Oh, fiddlesticks. I completely forgot something. Manly, you go ahead without me. I'm sure you'll find your way. I gotta run back to the house to grab something. See you there. This is gonna work well. Go right. Well now, who is this? Uh... Left. Left again. Don't you look good enough to eat? No. Yeah, I'm lost. Not yet. We gotta find the thing for, uh, Melissa. Why do we keep coming back here? I just keep going back. That's when we went right. We'll go left. Right. Forward. The rat. Hey kid, what you looking at? Think I'm part of some secret society, eh? Thinking you're fit for the spy life. You ain't getting no password unless you find me two more times. I'm gonna find you two more times. Wait, you could be at the start. No. Forward this time. This farm must be what Melissa Marmot was looking for. You put it in your pocket. I'm gonna get that back to her though, I can't leave the forest. Maybe this is gonna be another section of forest? No, it's gonna be a swan. Don't eat me, monster! My meat's all stringy! You'll be flossing for days! Hawk! I'm gonna eat you. I should say I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna eat you. No! Get away from me, monster! Oh, manly, I caught up with you. And you bumped into my friend Storm the Swan. Oh, Connie, save me! This monster is gonna eat me! Aw, oh, did you sleep walking in the happy woods again? Well, manly isn't gonna eat you. Not yet! Honk. You know, Storm, maybe it's time you learn the power. 
Of what? Of friendship and imagination. Use your imagination to turn that monster you're scared of into a friend. Why don't you start by closing your eyes? I ain't closing my eyes to a monster. Unless the monster does it first. Manly, can you humor me? Okay, now Storm, you do the same. Thanks, Storm. Now, when you're scared, everything is so big and evil looking. Of course new things are monsters to you. I'm actually just a monster. And I'm also a new thing. It's like not mutually exclusive. But using your imagination, think of that monster turning into a friend. A very hungry friend. Now, open your eyes. Well, now that I look at, your teeth's not as sharp as I thought it was. And you're actually not as big, either. Oh, I see how it is. In fact, you're actually kind of cute. That part's okay. And as we know, only cute animals are allowed in the village. Welcome, Manly. It's so great to have a new friend. That's a spirit storm. I'm such a scary swan, Manly. Sorry, I thought you were a monster. Well, let's just get you home before it gets dark. Yeah, good point. It gets spooky in the woods at night. Let's go back, Manly. Before an ugly monster shows up. Daddy warn you. Hey! Oh, so I am a kid. What did I tell you, kid? Your stupid loud game kept disturbing your mother's violin practice. She needs to practice. She's gonna be a star. Do you know what she said to me? Just now. It's all my fault she's a failure. Because I gave you that game as a birthday present. I just want her to be happy. So don't touch that damn game till she's done practicing. It's your nap time anyways. Close your eyes and shut up. Do I live in the attic? Thursday night time. So, this is just like a, I thought this was like an abandoned house or something. No, it's just a bad house. We're out getting out. Oh, look, it's cracked. Cartridge detected. Loading save game. After you and Connie brought Storm back to the village, Connie turns to you. What an eventful day at the village, huh? You must be so happy to be at your new home. Because you don't seem happy. You're worried about Storm, aren't you? That poor swan. I've seen them scared of their own shadow. Hey, want to see the stars with me? We can see them easily using the power of friendship and imagination. Can your friendship and imagination save me from this abusive household? Just close your eyes, tilt your head back, and... Open them. All I see is nightmares. Come on, you can do better. Look closer. There, you see? Look at that cluster of stars. We call that a constellation. That one's called the Big Dipper. And here's her little sister, the Little Dipper. They're the star of Gravity Falls. 
People just like to put spoons in the sky, huh? But hey, want to see some of the village's constellations? You can find friends up there. Tell me, what do you want the most from this town? Ooh, there's a lot of things here. Home, safe, love? And then your star friend is the Endless Romantic. She's been with so many, but she searches for that one who will spark her flame. With your support, she will find her true love, no doubt. You know, I used to be scared of the stars. All of them staring down at me. Like little evil eyes. I got so scared that every night I could cover myself in blankets so I wouldn't see stars at all. But no matter what, night will always come. And the stars will always end up there. I can't change that. So instead, I used the power of friendship and imagination. And those little evil eyes, they... They turn into friends. I'm sure one day, Storm will feel the same way. And whenever you feel scared, remember, night will always come. See it as a friend. Anyways, we'd like some pie. I'm trying to rest. You okay? Did you? Uh, Manly? I need to go. It's getting late, huh? <laughs> you should go to bed. Hmm. Friday. I guess that's the dad. He's sitting out there doing something, either depressed or drinking. One of the two. Useless. Still locked. Welcome to Data Kid Entertainment System. Cartridge detected. Okay. You wake up to a beautiful morning in the village. What should you do now? Man, I don't have anything to customize my home with. As you go outside, Storm and Connie are standing around talking. You doing okay, Storm? Fix you and Manly. I got out of those woods just fine. I was thinking about having a picnic there. Would you like to join? I think there's something that eats people in there. No. Manly may have not been a monster, but I heard of one even before Manly moved in. So count me out, honk. Well, if you ever do consider, you're always welcome. Oh, great to see you, Manly. Thank you again for saving me from those dark woods. Can't wait to do more things that are not scary of you in this village. But before then, I'm going to find a tree somewhere to take a nap by. See you later. Well, Manly, that leaves you. I do have something special to show you in the happy woods, and a picnic would be a perfect thing to do while it happens. Just let me know when you're ready to leave. But before you do, feel free to walk around the village a bit while I get ready. So we gotta give the thing to Melissa. Hey. Hi again, Manly. Oh, I see you got a pretty flower. Here comes the artistic inspiration. With fast hands, Melissa knits you a perfect blanket. There, now you can use that to customize your bed. Anyways, wanna talk? What do you think about Storm? Oh, Storm. There's such a character. But I've been reading up on swans and having one in the village is a great way to study them. Do you know that swans gestation period is 60 days? 
Wow, that's kind of weird knowing that about Storm. What's your favorite book? Oh, my favorite book is Pride and Prejudice, which is about love. Oh, Mr. Darcy. I love romantic stories. Maybe when you're older, I'll let you borrow some. What's your favorite food here? I'm a fan of the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Huh. Actually. It's a secret menu option. Date me. Same dialogue. Gotta go. Repair shop. Eek! Oh, 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 it's you! Hiya, Manly. I'd like to thank you again for listening to my poem and giving me your honest feedback. Because of that, I crafted a new chair for you. I hope you enjoy. Need anything? Can you another poem? Oh, sure. It's a poem about someone I had a crush on. Mm-hmm. What if they don't like me? They don't. I dare not even speak. Can't express my love precisely. I feel rather meek. What do you think of that one? I liked it. Thank you, just give me chairs. That's the only reason I'm being nice. What do you think about Storm? <laughs> it's odd, I don't really talk to them. Connie's good friends with them. Also Anna, I believe. Hazel? She doesn't like my poetry, but she's overall nice. Gotta go. See you around, Manly. Rex Center. Having a radical day, Manly? What do you think about Storm? Oh my gosh, Storm is like my bestest friend in the whole world. We know each other and visit each other all the time. When I move, I hope they come visit. What do you think about the Happy Woods? Like, everybody's so scared of the Dark Woods. Duh, I don't get it. Nature's always tubular to me. Gotta go. See ya. See ya. We don't have the password for the rat hole. We gotta find the rat two more times. Happy Woods. You ready to go? By the time we get back, everybody would be in bed. So if there's somebody you've been meaning to talk to, do it now. Let's go. Sit up! Here. Breakfast. Some cold cuts and bread. Let's, um, quick save. Don't eat. Well, fine. Maybe a day or two of being hungry will change your mind. Or you boot up the game again last night. I'm gonna let it slide. Because your mother was asleep at that point. But don't play it so damn loud when your mother's practicing her violin. She is the world to me. Even if she isn't it. Showing it. Sometimes. Did I ever tell you the first time we met? That small lake we took you a while back. That was when I knew I want her to love me. I'm so happy she did. Even if sometimes she still loves me. Right. I mean, we had you. She stuck with me. She has to love me. Sometimes I can't take it when she yells and throws things. And blames me for everything you did. Be on your best behavior. No! Loud noises. Or you're losing that game. Friday. Friday. Ugh. What a nightmare.
Welcome to Data Kid. Carter's detected. You and Connie march onward to the Happy Woods excited for your picnic together. Alright, let's go together into the Happy Woods and... Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, not again. I forgot the pie again. Manly, you have like one job is to bring a pie. Manly, you go ahead. You know your way around the woods by now. I'm sure you'll find the place before I get there. I actually do know my way around these woods. How did you know? Though the woods have changed. Here you are again. I'm starting to like you. Huh, interesting. Seems someone's left her picnic blanket here. You don't look comfy enough to be a blanket for a bed. Before we went left, go forward this time. Go right. I like your friend more, though. So delicious. So delectable. Thanks. But don't get me wrong. I'm not too picky. Thanks. Yeah, we're not going in the blood. We gotta find the rat. So the rat would be further back then. Um, even further back. Yeah. So we'll go to the right this time. Left. Right. Useless. Go forward. Left. Right. Rat. You looking familiar, kid? What you doing here now? Thinking maybe you're some kind of spy material? Maybe. The thumb it one more time. Okay, now we can go to the red. Forward. Help me! Something is chasing me! Manly, we have to leave now! As you and Storm run for the forest, you appear behind you to see a wild figure chasing after you. Don't look! Just run! Don't look! Just run! The figure starts to gain speed. All the humanity! Right before it could touch you, it notices something in the distance. And turns. There is a monster in the woods! I saw it with my own eyes! It let out a screech and jumped at me! Oh, manly! My fears have come true! So much for the power of French of imagination, huh? You should have gotten a gun. 45 caliber bare minimum. You can't imagine yourself out of that. But at least I have someone like you who can protect me. Thanks, Manly. I owe you one. Where would you like to go? Could you go back to the Happy Woods? <laughs> Where would you like to go? Manly, it's me. Let me in. We need to talk. I know you're young, and you didn't know. But that evil monster, it's lurking in those woods. By going in there, by encouraging others to go in there, you're making it interested in us. A year ago, the monster attacked me, but I kept my wits and my fast. And it ran into the woods. It's been hiding ever since, till recently. When you, Connie, and Storms are going in those cursed woods. Now I've seen it. Scary outside the woods, looking for its next victim. I've seen it look around the town, waiting. In a... I've seen it. Come on, the game console. Hey, wait, what? Come on, the game console. I see it right there.
What are you? So, this is your home. Very nice. Many places for me to hide. Like where? Oh, there you are. Hazel says such mean things about me. I ain't so bad. Just so misunderstood. Yeah, aren't we all? Some of us are misunderstood because of our hobbies, and some of us are misunderstood because we're some kind of weird tentacly ball that seems to suck into the floor. And eats people. Not so different, you and I. But sometimes I can't help myself. Try as I might. I let my instincts take over. Oh, there you are. You're my floorboards. Once upon a time, I saw a cute girl. I followed her for a bit, till she noticed me. She greeted me, smiled even. I wanted to do the same. I think you're up above again. But I couldn't help myself. I did something bad to her. What'd you do? I can't help it. I... I what? Yes! Ah! What's all that banging? Don't hide under that blanket. Look at me! Look at me, damn it! You little. Look at what you did! Your mother won't stop yelling and throwing at things. She says I'm a moron, an idiot, a failure because I let you do whatever you want. I can't stand it, I can't stand when she yells at me like that. And that's all because you couldn't play your game quietly for one goddamn night. Give me that stupid game system. No! I'm putting it up here in the raft just so you can't reach it. I'm, I'm like really surprised you just didn't smash it in half at this rate. But you can still see it tonight, one last time. And tomorrow I'm going to bring you down to the garage and show you what it looks like in- Oh, there it is. What it looks like in the mulcher. Any noise! I hear tonight means you're stuck in here for another week. I think things are going bad. Also, my, um, data kit is bleeding blood. What could go wrong on Saturday? Huh, Data Kid's no longer there. Weird. The lake is calling us. Oh! Yeah, that's normal. Welcome to Data Kid Entertainment System. Cartridge detected. You can hear the mom playing her instrument or whatever.
See, this kid needs to, like, smart up. Like, just turn the volume down on the Game Boy. I mean, the Data Kid. Simple. Another peaceful morning in the village. What should you do now? Cry. <laughs> We're just gonna sleep with a picnic blanket. This is the Yogi Bear aesthetic. All right, we're good. Hey, boo boo. See you playing those horror indie games. Ah, oh, Medley. Ooh, you you scared me. I'm so sorry for being even jumpier than usual. I haven't been able to see Connie all day. She's been missing for quite a while. Let me make him look for her together. Let's go around and ask the village. Where would you like to go? Cafe? Hi again, Manly. Anyways, wanna talk? Have you seen Connie? Hey, Melissa! Have you seen Connie around? No, not today, Storm. Although I did end up asking a brown rock for pie, thinking it was her. That's kind of weird. Is there anything creepy around here? Golly gee, I hope not. I don't like scary things. That's big words coming from you, Melissa. That's why I stick by Hazel for advice. Gotta go. See you soon. Pair shop. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Manly. Need anything? Can you read another poem? This is a poem about my grandpappy. Hope you enjoy it. I saw him wretched over the hospital bed. A perversity of his bright life before. His body, a battlefield for his organs. Fighting for oxygen, for blood. The winner, a short-lived victory. Towering over its crumbling world. Wow. Yeah, I want to do something different for once. Melissa said I relied too much on rhyming, and she referred me to a few books. I hope this poem was fun for you. Anyway, since you took the time to listen to my poems, I built you a new chair for your house. Hope you enjoy it. Have you seen Connie? Hey, Morris! We've been looking for Connie. Have you seen her? Hey, Storm, I, I haven't, sorry. But I got the tools you need to continue to borrow carburetors from people now. Oh, probably shouldn't have talked. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Swan. Gotta talk when Manly's present. Swan. You want to everything creepy around here? Eek, really? Uh, um, maybe you're talking about Halloween season here. I dressed up as a vampire last year. It was fun. Must have kept poking fun at me. Because the fake fangs gave me a lisp. Gotta go. See you around, Manly. I want to do the Let's Play. No, that doesn't sound like a Dracula at all. Rec Center. Having a radical day, Manly? Have you seen Connie? Storm? Anna, have you seen Connie? Nope. The way you're like... I actually do like how this shading like it's lighter like around the eyes and stuff. I mean, she doesn't even look like an alpaca or whatever she is. Uh, she just looks like a human with like an unusually long neck. Right? Well, the nose is a little different. But essentially, like the whole facial structure is just the same. Like, oh my gosh, totally not cool, she's missing. You know, is anything creepy around here? Uh, yeah, haven't you noticed? Connie hasn't invented a healthy pie yet. All those carbs? Ick, not cool. Remember, a healthy diet of vegetables and fruits is what makes it grow up good. Where's your protein at? Math challenge. 
Under California Measure 21A, 2EC, in order of the Data Time Corporation receive subsidies from the California government. Of course, this game can come from California. The children's entertainment software must have at least one practical education section. So in such a case, I will rise to the occasion to ask you a question. I have two tennis balls, and I pick up two others. How many do I have in total? When you have, like, four? He said... You have balls, that right? <laughs> you, have, you, you have balls, that's what you got. This is technically correct. Wow, you are smart. Gotta go. See ya. No matter where you went, Connie was not to be found. What will you and Storm do? Maybe she went on vacation. Without telling anyone. Not even me. I hope she's okay. I think Hazel's dying. Was that Hazel? Yeah, we should run. Both in real life and in the game. We should probably just run in general. Hazel, what's wrong? It's Connie. I knocked her door and she didn't answer. So I checked her back door and saw... That... that thing... Must have come out of the woods. Killed her. Dragged her body back into its realm. Oh look, the rat saw everything. What? Connie. Poor Connie. I loved her like a daughter. And now she's gone. No! Connie can't be... Dead. She's dead, because I didn't do anything to stop that creature. That's it. I'm gathering my tools. And number 45. I'm torching the woods tonight. What? But you can't! Whatever's in the woods won't cease until we're all dead. I'm stopping it right here. Wait, but what if Connie is... Connie's dead. Dead because I did nothing. It burns the night storm. Gonna burn, all right. All of it. Did it suddenly get quiet? Manly? Manly, we need to talk. Manly, listen. As much as I'm scared, I don't fear what Hazel does. Connie is alive, and she needs our help. We, we gotta save her. But I'm scared to go into the happy woods. At least while not sleepwalking. But if I'm with you, a friend. We're not friends. And with the power of imagination. Seriously, pack a 45. Together we'll save her. Let's go in the happy woods before. Nap time. Now. I time myself. You didn't hear anything. No excuses. Turn the game off now. Saturday night time. Hey, sport. I got something special for you. Your favorite food. A panini. I knew you love those things. So I ordered one fresh from the deli. Come on, eat up. And every day people get what they want, right? <laughs> Your mother would have been here too, but she's, she's tired. She's taking an extra long nap. I'm not a perfect father, but what made all this worth it was your lover by my side. Even in the beginning, things got rocky very quick. She wasn't always happy with me, and it made me feel desperate. I, we thought that if we brought you into this world, it would help but bring us together. It's the reason you're here, to bring us together. And it worked for a time. I swear to you, I tried. I really tried. It was an accident. I just wanted to scare her. 
to let her know that I have limits that I can only try and try so much. I, I made mistakes. I made one mistake that I can't come back from. And now it's all gone. Everything is all pointless. It's all pointless. <laughs> What's one more mistake to throw in the pile, huh? Let's make a special day tomorrow, okay, kid? Just you... Me... And Mommy. Feel free to play a little game thing as long as you want tonight, kid. This will be quite the day tomorrow. Dad, are we all gonna die? Or, well, at least one person's already dead. Are you and me gonna die? Hmm. <laughs> hey, honey. Coming in, the water is warm. Don't be scared. Don't disappoint mommy. <laughs> you gotta learn how to swim, you know? It's scary at first, but sooner or later... You're gonna have to swim. <laughs> Come on. Don't waste my time. Daddy is watching us. You know, I gave up a good violin career because of you. Because of Daddy. So you better be worth it. You better learn to swim. Got a swimming lesson. So, like, you get a general image, like... It's not just, like, the dad. Like, it, it's just a bad household in general. Um, just two people who were not meant to be together or to settle down, period. Just brute forcing it to a horrible outcome. Play the data, kid. Welcome to Data Kid Entertainment System. Carter detected. You and Storm walk into the entrance of the Happy Woods. Determined to rescue Connie at all costs. Well, this is it. I can't believe I'm going back into the woods at all. But I have to. For Connie. And with you, I will have the bravery to move forward. We gotta find the rat. There's no rats here. Hmm. Left. Right. Left. Wait, back. Let's go up instead. Then left. Then right. Found the rat. Hey, we got our general on rat spy over here. Congrats, kid. You was our newest member. Welcome to the spy rat family. A rat relief. Swing by my brother Vinny's hole in the village. Once you got the chance. Take a pass with his. Angels. Tapping in all camps. See you then. Alright, we need to go all the way back. We're done here. Let's reset. I'm gonna, okay, now we're back at the beginning. Now we can think. Oh, Conk! Oh, sorry, that's just you, Manly. 
I can't do this. Well, the fact that we got the swan means we're going the right way. Monster! Oh, that's just my shadow. Manly, why do you think this was a good idea? I thought it would be braver than this. But having a friend like you here, I feel like I can make it. If things go wrong, I know we have each other. You're a swan and I'm a human. I'm running. Um, forward? Nope. Are you... Scare of me. Why not use uh, the power of friendship and imagination? Oh, I'm using fire. Tell me the truth, Manly. Do you think you can imagine any monster into a friend? Yeah. What does your imagination change? Could you imagine yourself away from here? Oh, hey, Manly. Fancy seeing you here. Are you the monster? Connie! Oh, Storm. You braved the woods, huh? Connie, are you okay? Huh, I'm better than okay, Storm. What's up? Oh, Connie, we came to this forest because we thought you were in danger. Me? In danger? In these woods? Oh, I was trying to introduce you. Amy the Axolotl. That's not a... Uh, that's not what you think it is. My very special friend. Hi, Storm, and hi again, Manly. Oh, you met Manly before, Amy? Yes, although I did meet them by smacking them. With my cherry pie stained hands while dripping red cherry pie sauce everywhere. I'm sorry for doing that. I have social anxiety issues. Also, somebody stole my picnic blanket and I got flustered because of it. I actually did that one. Ha, huh, yes. Amy bopped me on the head the first time we met as well. You gotta take it easy, Amy. Not everyone's gonna be like being greeted like that. You're the monster Hazel's been scared about? Yeah. I came to this village a long time ago and bopped Hazel on the head when she went up to me. She then chased me into the woods. I've been living here ever since. I keep trying to convince Amy to come back to the village. If only Hazel knew who Amy was, instead of seeing a monster, she could see a friend. That's great! Because Hazel's about to burn down the woods! <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? God dang it, Hazel! Yeah, we should probably stop her before she does that. You and your friends ran as fast as possible out of the happy woods in order to stop Hazel from burning it down. Soon you see Hazel holding a torch about to do the deed. Stop, Hazel! Connie! Hazel, stop! This is all a misunderstanding. I wasn't attacked by a monster. This is just my friend, Amy Axolotl. Hi again, Hazel. This is the monster you were afraid of. I'm sorry I bopped you in the head a long time ago, Hazel. Well, now that I look at it, your teeth's not as sharp as I thought it was. You're actually not as big either. But you're actually kind of cute. Welcome to the village. I'm sorry that I thought you were a monster. 
This is a very educational and kidly friendly lesson about assumption, <laughs> discrimination, and prejudice. I think I think that thing is still a monster, guys. And it's all thanks to Storm for bravely solving this mystery once and for all. I wouldn't have done it without. Manly. Thank you for making me brave. And thank you for playing. Congratulations, you beat Storm and Swan with the power of friendship and imagination. You hope you learned a valuable lesson with the power of friendship and imagination. You beat this game 433 times. There's like some like whole really big long lore of this data time corporation that's like spanning like history or something. Based on like all these different games. Go on. Sunday. Hey kiddo. Rise and shine. Dad, are we gonna die? We're going somewhere special. Come on. I made you breakfast. Your mom is waiting for us downstairs. Hey now. Don't make that face. It's gonna be somewhere special. You'll see. We're gonna die at the lake. It was an important thing. Plus the image of the, uh... I don't remember exactly what it said, but it said something like, join us in the lake or something. Surprise! It's been a while since I've cooked for the family. You remember when I used to do this every day, right, kiddo? <laughs> I'm not gonna like what I'm gonna see over here. Yeah. Hey, huh? Uh, no, 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 don't. Don't, don't bother mommy. She's just so sleepy. So I just covered up in blankets. We'll wake her up when we get to the lake. That's right. We're finally going to the lake. I booked a villa there. So don't move around when... When mommy gets a swim in the lake. She's been wanting to swim for a while. You know... You will swim with mommy too. You'll swim so well. You'll make your father proud. Now come on. Finish your breakfast. It's a long trip. Yummy, isn't it? Come on, we gotta hurry. Shh, don't wake mommy. Let her sleep in the back of the station wagon. Don't bother on our trip. You don't want to get in trouble. Doesn't it feel magical? That no matter what, we all go to the same place together. It's a long trip down to the lake. But you know what? Why don't you play your game while we're driving there? Dad needs to pay attention to the road. Welcome to Data Kid Entertainment System. Cartridge detected. Loading most recent game. You woke up to the new morning after an exciting night saving the happy woods along with your friends. That was when you bumped into... Honk. What an exciting few days has been, Manly. I'm gonna die. But thanks to the power of friendship and imagination, we didn't just save the happy woods, we got a new friend. The village is so excited and it's all thanks to you. Ain't you happy, Manly? Because you don't seem happy. You're in trouble, aren't you? I, I've been watching over for you a while, and... It seems like you're going for something that's worse than a monster in the woods. I've seen it get worse and worse every single day. Manly, you helped me. Now it's time for me to help you. I just need to be brave, Manly. Just close your eyes. 
Don't open them. And use the power of friendship and imagination. Hey, kiddo. Not hearing a game anymore. Did you get tired of it? Don't worry. We're getting close to the lake soon. Kid? What the hell is... Leave Manly alone! How are you in the car? I said leave Manly alone! Pull over and let us go now! Get your hands off the steering wheel! What the... are you? It's a swan. Manly, are you alright? It's over now. It's all over. You use your power to bring me out. Now this In this universe, this can actually be real, by the way. Let's get out of here. We can finally go home. Follow me. Wait, can it be? My stars, it's... Manly! Look, it's color. You're no longer in a game. That only has like two color palettes. Manly, you made it. You're really here. Manly, my gosh, I can't believe you're actually home. Welcome back, Manly. I still think you're a monster. Now we can learn and grow together. That's right, Manly. I've been planning it for a while. Finding you an actual real home here. Now I can be with your friends and live and grow like you've always wanted. I can't wait to bake new pies for you, Manly. I'm so excited to join life in the village with you, Manly. I'm excited to teach you about our village history and more, Manly. Never mind, it was not real. We're about to go into the lake. Shh, hey. Hey, don't cry. It's alright. You're alright. Everything will be okay. We're all going to be together. I promise you. I just, that's it. Hmm. Finally together achieved. Storm is losing inspired the real can provide from the same name. Storm of Swans can be back in daytime? What are we date the swan? I see that game is expanding in scope quite a bit, huh? Rec Center. Duck. Try duck, but the ball bops you in the head. Oh my gosh, are you okay? That's a bummer. It's cool that tennis balls are like quite light and don't hurt so much. Like, you must be... Strange. I've already seen how this story plays out. So, why am I seeing you here again? A curious phenomena. But don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This is what you told me no off the bat, right? I'll have to get for you in your home. Let's pretend that I'm... Totally so excited to see you! I'm Anna. I'm trained to be a sports champion. I'm mostly busy practicing, though, but I have time for a small talk as well. Let me in achieved. I figured there was something up with you because your way your eyes go lighter. Maybe this changed? The window, right? Yeah, I guess that's it. Angels. Nice. Welcome to Vinny's Hole. Okay, open up the webpage. I'll show you in a second. 
So here's the page that opened up when I got the password in, Storm the Swan Secrets, Datatime Corporation. Hi, so since you say the company requires this order to be fully reimbursed for therapy sessions, I hope the formatting of these journal entries are okay for you, Dr. Proctor. I've been feeling pretty stressed lately. I mentioned my longtime friend Jason during our first meeting. We grew up together before busting over the Silicon Valley to make our riches. I won't bore you of the details, but we used to be incredibly close, even when we got hired to the same company here. But ever since he got promoted, he's been very distant. In fact, I'd almost think he had gone missing had I not seen him down the hallways walking to some of the restricted offices at data time. I keep going through my head what might have happened between us. Maybe the last couple of times together we didn't see eye to eye. I guess I felt that the company kind of promoted him to separate us, but it's pretty paranoid sounding. Or worse, maybe after he got promoted, he realized I was no longer of any use to him, and now he's just been part of this, part of his true friends in the higher areas of the company. I don't know. I also have been stressed the last couple of times I've spoken to him. Since my lease is coming up and the landlords want to raise my rent. I haven't found a place cheaper than this, and it's not even sure this current pay would cut it. So I probably didn't really respond to him in the nicest way when he broke the news about the promotion. Maybe I'm just jealous it's him and not me. I don't know. I wish he would tell me. I passed by Jason the other day in the hall and asked how he was doing. Jason just ignored me and it pissed me off, so I started chasing after him. He went around a corner and when I got there, he disappeared. But because I wanted to give him peace of my mind, I started walking around the wing to search for him. The area was new to me. I think it's the entertainment wing of the company. They make games for kids and losers, I think. Did you hear about the dating sims they do? Kind of dumb, right? Ha! I guess I got him working this wing or something. You'd think promoted meant you'd work on something more special, maybe? I thought they got him into some weird military secrets. Or maybe they have him as part of our financial software team. Do these stupid game children play actually give them money? I don't really, I honestly do not think so. And the people here, they got some weird look in their eyes. This one dude came out of the bathroom and just looked straight for me before going back into his office. I thought games would be something fun to work on. Guess even here, data time makes it mind-numbing. Anyways, I finally found Jason walking down the hallways and called out to him. He continued to ignore me, so I started marching right up to him, intending to grab him and give him a piece of my mind. But before I could, a door between us busted open, and a guy came out of it, screaming. He started yammering about something most of it I couldn't decipher. I think he said a name in there, Mobius, Moses, or maybe it was Morris. He gripped onto me and started saying, he's broken, he's broken. I tried to pull the guy away, but he kept grabbing at me. Soon security showed up, peeled him off me, and dragged him away. One of the managers of the wings who saw the entire exchange then went up to me and told me to go back to my department and not to think much about the incident. By the time everything was over, Jason disappeared again. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I nearly had a heart attack today. I was at my cubicle when my manager told me he needed to talk to me in his office. He walked me into the room and there, if you can believe it, was the manager that talked to me from the entertainment wing. My boss said that this person caught me stooping around the department, and both of them looked pretty pissed at me for wandering around where I wasn't working. I lied. I told them I was super interested in games, and that's why I was there. I'm a go-getter, I told them. Just wanted to know what it's like to do that stuff. The entertainment manager looked at me with beady eyes before he glanced at my manager and just said, Well, data time corporations loves go-getters, and my manager agreed. That one leads to Dr. Brain. This link the uh, data time corporation loves go-getters thing. They told me they'll look into transfer once they have an opening for me. I don't want to work in games, but I guess if they told me them the truth, they'd fire me. You're a doctor, right? Everything I tell you is confidential. You wouldn't report any of this sh stuff to corporate, even if you're on payroll, right? I'm losing my mind. They put me on this edutainment software team for an education game called Storm the Swan. It doesn't teach kids math or English or anything. It just tells kids that having friends is cool and always look on the bright side of life. It's actually pretty boring, and I don't think anyone will sell well in the public. I've mostly done data processing at data time, but this is the first time they had me do some programming. No change of pay, of course, because why the hell would that make my life easier? You know Looney Tunes? I'm almost certain that they ripped off Storm the Swan's character design with Daffy Duck. How long is Data Time going to survive when Warner Brothers sues the hell out of them? The lack of pay raise became much more clear to me when my landlord passed by me on the way to work. He reminded me of what I owe next year and then took upon a look up, up and down on me before saying there's more ways you can pay me than just money. I nearly kicked his head off and Silicon Valley rents aren't very competitive nowadays. If I can get a promotion like Jason did, I should be able to pay for all of this, heck, maybe even get a fair place. I got no idea why most of the time the dating sim team is always so hush hush. Most of the developers from there keep to themselves. And I'm almost certain Jason is part of that group. But things got weirder when I was on my way to the Swan Department only to slam straight into the guy earlier who was screaming about Morris or something. He dropped a bunch of papers but didn't bother picking them up before hurrying off. I look 
I took a look at the papers and they revealed a list of people hired to do daytime work. Most of them were internals, just like Jason is, but one of the names caught my eye. Someone by the name of Jane Whitman was on the list who was a new hire. The details noted that she had to spend a year at some kind of loony bin down the state, and the data time is giving her a free ticket to freedom with room and board. What the hell is this is a company actually thinking hiring a loon? I'm busting my ass trying to pay rent, and they're giving this girl an entire apartment to live in? She even gets one of her state-of-art computers for free. I've had enough of this stupid company. Jason doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I'm hardly getting enough pay as it is, and now they're giving favors to loons who didn't even attend college. Maybe it's time to cut my losses to leave this Silicon Valley. Go back to the East Coast. Are you even reading these, Doctor? Or am I just ranting to myself about this? All you've ever said to me is, hey, stop thinking about this or stop thinking about that. What the hell am I paying you $75 an hour for? I was late. I was working late today on the latest Storm the Swan entertainment application they've been having on me. Or having me on, rather. I finally got the last test for the record and realized it was already 9.30 p.m. As I was walking out, I took a peek at the daytime engineering room and noticed that Jason was there, staring blankly at his computer. I crept in and tried talking to him. The computer screen he was looking at was off. Jason just turned to me and told me that I was in a restricted area and told me to leave. I tried to talk to him and reason with him, but in the end he just repeat, just repeating that I was in a restricted area. He then stood up and told me he would attack me if I persist. I left. I have no friends here. I got some good news. I was brought into a small office with the manager and Jason and was scared that Jason ran me out and I was about to be fired. The manager then pointed at Jason, told me that he recommended me to be hired as a programmer for the daytime software team. It will also come up with a pay raise that should be more than enough to pay for my rent. I guess I judge ways too harshly about everything. Jason was looking out for me this entire time. I'm so excited. I'm gathering my things right now before I go into their department room. Document room by employee 430, current status subdued. Recently erase lasting documents before seeing computer new employee, yes or no? You were given a new window from Anna, find out why in daytime. You gain admin login. Who the hell is Jane Woodman? You eat dad's cooking. Shout to Ray Lynch. Get the flower from Melissa. Melissa seems like a nice person. You have the math challenge. Where's my business subsidy in California? <laughs> Last thing you added to the game. A scrumptious panini. You found the picnic blanket. The ants and food stains are added bonus. This is all Morris's poems. Thanks, I wrote them myself. These are very corny shut, but not Robert Frost. You read Saturday's portrait. Who read your decorate while I slept? You refuse attic food. What even is a scrivener? You went downstairs when you shouldn't. Are you a fast learner? You finished the main story of Storm the Swan. Never stop believing in yourself. Kept peeing. <laughs> Look out the window once a day. All right. So, that's it for Storm the Swan and the Power of Friendship and Imagination. So, it does have its links to the daytime universe. I've played a few games of this. I probably... If I haven't already made a playlist, I'll probably make one. But the general shared link of all these games is that there is some kind of company, and there is some kind of weird tech horror thing going on behind this company in various spots. But outside of that greater connected universe, this game is clearly standalone. Um, most of them actually are, except for daytime in itself. And what we get is a sad story of a kid that's just born in the wrong place. Uh, no fault of their own, things just go really bad, and the video game does not save them. And I do think the video game is alive, that is part of the lore, like this really is a living video game. But obviously did not come in and save the kid at the end, it was just imagination and stuff like that. And that maybe that was Swan's intention too, that hey, I'm gonna do you a favor, I'm gonna save you. But the saving is more like... You're gonna get like I'm gonna basically distract you with your imagination, so like it's less terrifying what's about to happen. So an overall very sad story. That really sums it up. Uh, I'm really curious. I guess Anna is kind of the big honcho. Melissa was the initial big honcho of the uh, daytime thing, but it seems like Anna is more self-aware than the other ones. I mean, that's just because she looks like she's gonna be the last route when that game eventually does come out. But I'm curious what they're cooking there. I really have no idea because I have no idea what's changed or expanded since the original daytime concept. But we'll see whenever it's released. But yeah, anyway. So if you go off watch you play Storm the Swan, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.